Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? All right, let's get back to a couple of videos I did and you guys have comments on because I want to make sure to respond. Recently, I did one on uh, Mel Carmine on April and AJ show. I dig April and AJ. They're cool people. But uh, again, you know, look at I get it. Mel's out there. He, he's doing his hustle. He's got his grift on. The point was, people were asking me about him, and I said, look, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Just throwing numbers out there, making shit up. That's all he's doing. And I just wanted to highlight that. Other than that, I could care less. If he wants to rip people off, more power to him. He's sending everybody this cheesy-ass website that you went to, trying to get people to give over their information to their cryptocurrencies. I was like, yeah, dude, you got to remember, he's in Puerto Rico. So if, so if he scams you, and I'm not saying he will, I'm just saying if, something you got to take in consideration. You know, he's all the way out in Puerto Rico. How are you going to get him? All right, so let's get into this. Thank you for making this video. I've posted it on Facebook. Maybe it will save one of my Facebook friends from losing their shirts. Cryptocurrencies never appealed to me. I went with Junk Silver and Vietnam Dong. Junk Silver is always a great choice. And of course, Vietnam Dong, I have as well. So good choices versus cryptocurrencies. Look, I, I do think cryptocurrencies give you an opportunity to make money, but I don't think they are what people think they are. You have a male going out there swearing up and down to people it's going to get to a half a million, million dollars, which makes no sense to me. If that's going to be the chosen currency to be used for cross-border payments, then why the hell would it get above a dollar? I mean, the whole purpose is to use it as a currency. Why would it get above a dollar? Pimpy 5 Degrees, I'm so impressed. That's Pimpy Rich right there. <laughs> Your video got me stacking right after I moved here. I'm always happy with you, always, and grateful for your guidance. I appreciate all the kind words, Jeff. Uh, I love when I read your post and you always say, Pippi Rich. It is funny. I have one in accounting, one in computer applications, one in medical administration. Then I got my bachelor's in medical administration with the emphasis on business. And I have my master's, of course, which is in medical administration with the emphasis on the business side is what it is. I've been stacking gold and silver for years, mostly silver, but I buy XLM solely on the fact that it's used as a payment all over the world, mostly third world countries. Well, that isn't the only crypto that's used in third world countries. If you want to support that cryptocurrency, you got to remember, I don't like supporting any cryptocurrency that has anything to do with the World Economic Forum's central bank digital currency. And XLM, XRP, along with a handful of other cryptocurrencies took part in that. And we heard the CEO of XRP loud and clear as could be that he wants to work with the new world order and he's looking forward to it. And that's not somebody I want to support. Another great one, Pimpy. Thank you so much. Gosh, what happened to April and AJ? They look like aliens. <laughs> I haven't seen them in a couple of years. I hardly recognize them. Thanks for reviewing this guy. He's shifty as hell. Yeah, I, you know, April and AJ, they're health fanatics. So they're into very spiritual stuff, which I like. But I know he was a pizza guy. Just knew it. Oh, there's no doubt that that guy's a pizza guy. <laughs> Dude, he's a freak drifter. Brutal. If anything can't be evidence, then it's nothing more than hearsay. Oh, well, I agree. And that guy's got nothing but hearsay. I used to listen to Santa surfing and all that too. But then I realized it was a bunch of crock. I was huge fans of both Charlie Ward and Santa surfing. But we did an interview one time and they both said something that caught me off guard. Santa was claiming that, you know, she was getting information from John Jr. And how it came out, she was like, um, you know, sometimes I get my information and I get a little rushed and I should be saying stuff I shouldn't. And so I get my hand smacked by, she said, well, you know, by Q. So she was claiming that she was working directly with Q. And then later on with John John. And I was like, this girl's out of her freaking mind, man. It's BS. And then one time with the interview with Charlie Ward, Charlie Ward kept claiming we were under NDAs. And I was like, what do you mean? I didn't get an NDA. He goes, well, we were chosen as the official ambassador of the quantum financial system. I was like, I must have missed that invitation or memo because I don't got it. I think Charlie was hoping that I'd go along with it. But that's, that's not my style, man. Part of me thought he was serious, to be honest with you. I thought, well, wait a minute. If that's the truth, I didn't get my invitation. <laughs> so make sure I get it. But I uh, come to find out it's just a crock. Yeah, the other day I did one with Intel Dell. Yes, there was a lady coming out. 
making all kinds of claims. And I said, how funny. I have a military Intel person too. And I introduced everybody to Intel Dell. Anyway, something you might have missed is look at his website. PullMagicWindOutMyButt.com. You got to love that one. <laughs> so let's go down and hit these comments. It's easier to convince someone to believe a lie than it is to convince them that they have already been lied to. I agree with that. Half these people out here don't even realize they're being lied to. It says, geez, Pimpy, I haven't stopped laughing. But it's pretty sad. When I first heard this stuff a few years ago, there might be something to it, but found the same thing. An undisclosed official of the government with Intel somewhere out there in action of something. Because you get these people go, I got an Intel person that works for the government from the inside or works in the military. That's what they always say. And somehow it gives them credibility. So they say this and I go, yeah, everybody says this. So I created a guy for this video called Intel Dale. That's what everybody's laughing about. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh yeah, it sounds uh, incredible. As usual it is, common sense usually reigns supreme. It's like the news old cliche, sources said, a name source, that's the one they use about Trump all the time. Unnamed source or somebody close to <laughs> Trump. Oh my God, that is what I needed, a great laugh. First thing in the morning. I've been hearing this kind of stuff for years. I've grown quite numb to it. Yeah, unfortunately, that's what happens. There is some truth mixed up with it, and it makes it kind of hard to support the truth when you have a bunch of fake people out there turning into shit. That's what it is. Pimpy, that's funny as F. Gotcha. Appreciate that. Iraq to U.S. dollars, 0 0.007114. Yep, that is the rate. Hey, Pimpy, she's saying sunshine. That means Trump. Oh, is that what it sounds like? It sounds like the person said chum chime or some shit. And the other one said, I think he's saying John John, which is John Jr. Of course, you know Kennedy's son, that these people claim is still alive today. I used to listen to her. She used to be known as Lynn Wick. Okay, is that what it is, Lynn Wick? I think Lynn Wick's actually in my group. There's a lot of wild and crazy things you hear uh, on the show. Uh, yeah. I mean, you guys send me video after video. There's another one I'm going to do a comment on, or I'm going to do a review. Chick was going on about... She couldn't wait to the fifth dimension. Beans come down and the elevators from Earth onto the new Earth. I was like, what the hell is that chick on, man? Seriously. <laughs> so anyways, they were heavy into decoding Trump's speeches. Yeah, well, for some people, you need a little decoding because it's kind of hard to understand where he's coming from. But for the rest of us, we get him as clear as day. Then they were saying that uh, Melania is Diana. See, this is what I'm talking about. This kind of crap here. And when the Sarah kicked in, we were going to get $100,000. I quit listening. Well, they were saying some people are going to get $100,000. But you remember, we were supposed to get part of that $100 bin quadrillion quadrillion dollars. And we'd have unlimited money. And I was like, well, who the f*** is going to do the work? Seriously, I mean, you're going to go to fast food or you're going to go to some restaurant. Who's going to make your food if everybody's rich? Does that make sense? No, everybody's going to be snorting coke off hookers and jamming around in their yachts you know what i mean it says uh i used to watch ghost hunters the spirit is one of the most intelligent i have ever heard come out of the spirit box just saying yeah there's something about cody itc whether you believe in that or not it is a trip somebody keeps saying well i see his right hand moving so just so you understand that ghosts when you go to the other side they don't have voices anymore so what they have to do is use their energy to manipulate sound on this side so what he's doing when he goes back and forth is he's picking up on a bunch of different radio stations and then the ghost has to figure out how to manipulate it so you can hear what the words are some of them are good at it some of them they sound like crap i'm just being honest with you you forgot to mention that there are people on standby at the redemption centers and the one in under numbers are giving out I use that one all the time. That's the same thing about pulling a wand out of my butt and sprinkling unicorn pixie dust on you. It's okay, seriously. 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. Is that what they're saying? Oh, good Lord. When you have entered into the land that Jehovah, your God, has given you, you must not learn to imitate distasteful practices of those nations. Oh, I know where you're going with this. Talking about the spirit boxes. Well, let me ask you something, Steve, because this is a serious question. Over the last few years, there's been an overwhelming, and I mean an overwhelming, of children being born that have the ability to talk to the dead. Church people are saying that it's a sin that you're not supposed to be talking to them. Then why the hell do they have the ability to do that? Just throwing it out there. Pimpy, I knew it sounded crazy, but we saw him, man. It had to have been him, for reals, a year ago. Long story, but uh, everyone else thinks it was him. You're talking about John John Jr.? You're wrong, Pimpy. She was referring to... DJT, not JFK. Was she? I didn't know. I'm just telling you. Sound like she said chime chime to me. <laughs> she did not say John John. 
I listen to her every morning. I've heard this morning. I heard uh, Top speak several times. She's in the Army. I listen to Intel Dale. Intel Dale is in the Marines or, or the Navy. I'm not sure. But anyways, sounds like a couple of PFCs talking at the EM club after three 12 packs. That would be me. When I was in the Navy, I would definitely be there knocking back drinks back in the day. It's Veterans Day. Oh, when she said it's going to happen, is it on Veterans Day? Somebody else pointed that out. Apparently, I've never been on live TV. Interviews say Intel Dell. <laughs> you keep me grounded, Pimpy? Yep. That's what this channel does. I don't blow smoke up your butt. Unable to get into Facebook group? It says the content isn't available right now. I guess the message every time I try to join via your link. Is that right? I have to retry the link, and if it doesn't work, I'll correct it. All right? So check back here in a little bit. I thought it was always next 72 hours. It's always something. What about med beds? So if you guys go to Pimby's News Network, there is, see, this is what I'm talking about. Stop waiting for these so-called med beds. You go over here, there's other treatments that are similar, ones that most people don't know about. This hyperbolic one is really good, and it's way affordable. You go to the video and check it out. You see what I'm talking about. Also, for educational purpose, these are the minds of billionaires, some of the most wealthiest people in the world, explaining how it is they gain that wealth. And it's very understandable. It isn't crazy talk. Reminds me of a parable in the Bible. Dog throws up. The other dog one comes along with sit-up calls. Over to other dog throws up, then licks it up. What? Okay, I'm reading it as it's typed, you guys. I'm not making this crap up. Nothing. You know, everybody, all live in the world, has had a little bit of the same. Okay, Joe, I'll just agree with you to agree. <laughs> so anyways, a lot of you people thought I was funny. Good. That's the whole purpose of it. Get educated while you're laughing. Anyways, that's it for now, you guys. I'll get back at you later. I am out.